Welcome back everybody. I'm going to do another uh, collection video here, kind of like my last side sh slideshow collections, but this one I've uh, I've got the gloves on. So I the main reason I do that is just because I don't like cleaning the firearms before I put them back away. Uh, it's not that I'm afraid of handling them as a lot of people joke about, but uh, no, just don't like cleaning the fingerprints off so some of these guns sit in the safe before a while before I bring them out. So this is of course the Colt single action 1873 uh, revolvers and uh, a lot of these have been done before but I had some good fortune and won a new Colt. Uh, this is not it. In a, in a raffle so I wanted or actually not a Colt but a clone. Most of these are clones. Uh, this one you've seen before, this is my uh, Colt uh, that was engraved and uh, ivory grips, but this is the first one in the collection. Uh, just a quick description of each one and a little quick up and down viewing so you can see the fine uh, engraving on this. Colt, third generation, 1873. All right, now we'll bring out the second one, which is uh, very similar to that one. Let me reach over here and grab it. This is uh, an Italian version made by uh, Pieta in Italy. This is the Teddy Roosevelt. I believe I've already done uh, videos on it. As you can see, it's also engraved. There's the TR. All of these are, of course, in 45 Colt. But I believe they call this the Teddy Roosevelt Frontier, if I remember right. That's the way it was cataloged. Uh, mimicking the uh, Teddy Roosevelt uh, firearm that he owned. Uh, the grips are not ivory on this, they're just a uh, polymer mimicking ivory grips. And you can see the engraving is not nearly as deep, just a laser engraved firearm. Nice match. Next in the line, we'll start on the, uh, the the short barreled ones I have. This one we've seen before. You know I do like my engraved guns. This is the Alchemista. EMF Alchemista. Very unusual gun. Um, it's the gun that was never made, as I said in my you can see Great Western 2 on it. Uh, this is another Pieta manufactured gun. Oversized grips. This has the optional factory stag grips. They're a bonded stag. They aren't actual stag. But so it's an epoxy impregnated poly combined polymer with stag in them. I believe is how that's done. And you see the engraving again is laser engraved, but a real fun shooter uh, with its octagon barrel, oversized grips. Really a nice addition for uh, shooting to the collection. And it's a handsome gun too. Next, we're going to run out of room there, but uh, this is my old 1873. This is the uh, Cimarron Frontier. 
I believe this one is an Uberti built firearm. Uh, the color case hardening, of course, the Italians do a fine job on their their guns anymore. Nothing fancy about this one. I've had this one so many years. A lot of rounds fired through it. Uh, exceptionally nice trigger on this firearm. The best of all the fire, all of these that are laid out here. So that's the next to the last one. And that is uh, the only fully blued one I have. Well, with exception of the uh, Alchemista, which has its partially uh, stay I believe that's stainless engraved and then the last one this is one I won just a few weeks ago in a raffle it was a $20 raffle ticket and I won this uh, Pistolero Cimarron Pistolero this one is made by Pieta as well uh, so you can see the last one was a birdie this one's Pieta again virtually the same firearm made by different companies this was basically a $20 firearm to me as I wanted in a as I said in a raffle ticket from from a, uh, a gun shop here in my state it was an appreciation day that they did not get a hold because of the virus but they went ahead and held their raffle and lo and behold my name was drawn and this 45 Colt 1873 nickel plated was uh, had my name on it so there it is there's the uh, the single action army collection that I currently have I do like my uh, cowboy guns so to speak or if you want to call them military guns they are early military guns in some configurations too so a lot of fun there so we'll break out some uh, some more collections on what we're doing on this uh, stay at home lockdown and uh, we'll see you next time thanks for watching